does this then, does this make sense in this day and age, right, where we had first one side, then the other side, and it seemed to take a long time to go through, right, all this whole process. Does it make sense to do that now? Yes. Is there a faster way? Is there a better way? If we speed the legislative process, then laws will come into place that aren't necessarily the best thought out laws. By speeding up the process, we're just going to overlook things and have things made into law that aren't necessarily as good as they can be. The faster it goes through, then the, like all the bills can just pass instead of waiting for so long for a certain bill when everybody else is waiting for the same one. If we pass so many bills, we're going to end up having so many bills and so many laws. And I think it's better to do less and then to add on than to just overflow our country with laws that probably a lot of us don't even know about. Does Congress follow a good process when it develops its legislation? I wish uh, that the people, if you would, from an ideological standpoint, who are more in the middle, the moderates, Mm -hmm. would, as I like to describe it, take charge. Uh, And the people at the extremes, and I don't say to be critical of their views, I mean, everybody's got a right to their views, tend to stake out extreme positions. And then, unfortunately, the leaders in both parties have this compulsion more times than not that, well, if you say purple, I got to say green because I got to be different. Well, you're not always wrong. And I'm not always right, so let's talk about this. There is, I must tell you, more cooperation goes on than you see because it's just the nature of news. News isn't liberal or conservative, it's negative. If I don't do anything bad today, you're not going to read about it. If I do, no, I mean, right? Hey, he behaved himself today. Oh, wow, boy, boy, that's exciting. You know, let's put a picture in the paper, too. Uh, but if Pete does something really goofy, well, boom, you know. So you see the fighting at the top every day, but you don't see people getting along. And, like, I chair the Energy and Water Subcommittee. We invest in the Department of Energy, nuclear weapons, water projects like the Low Calumet River uh, project comes through our subcommittee. And my ranking member, who was my chairman for four years, a Republican from uh, Ohio, Mr. Hobson, and I are just very good friends. We don't agree on everything. Nobody does. But then you work out your day and you just keep going. You know, you don't have to be in a fight all the time. But at the top, it, it has evolved that way. Uh, two years ago, in the committee I serve on, the Appropriations Committee, is charged with spending your dollars to run the government every day. Uh, we passed one of 12 bills. You know, if you answered one out of 12 questions on a test at Emerson, you wouldn't be going very far. <laughs> Uh, and that was a congressional failure. 